Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another day where I'm going to show you what I eat. I know I have filmed a lot of videos like this over the years, but lately I have been thinking a lot about the food that we eat and my personal relationship with food, which I have always considered to be pretty healthy and positive. Um, but as more food options become available to all of us and food technology and science advances and we have all of these alternative options um, for meat and everything else in between, I feel that as a whole, we are getting farther away or moving farther away from real food. Now this video is not meant to criticize anyone or their eating habits or anything that you are personally consuming. It's just kind of an inside look at my own journey with food. In recent weeks, a lot has been happening in my life off camera. I know I'm always saying that, um, but I've had a couple of very big life changing or life altering experiences that are shaping me in many different ways and I feel more than ever like I just want to take the best care of my body that I possibly can. So I'm kind of doing everything in my power to just nurture my body and that includes eating foods that have high nutrition content. Um, I think some of the information I'm going to share in this video might be a bit of a shock to you guys, but I'm hoping that we can hang out today without judging each other. And um, yeah, I'm gonna stop with this intro. I know it's dragging on and I wanna get into the video. I'm really excited for the recipes that I'm going to share today. Uh, they are like whole food recipes, fruits, vegetables, fresh foods, healthy proteins, healthy fats. I think there's going to be something that everyone can enjoy or at least modify to their personal preferences. We are moving on to a midday snack. I am a huge snacker, as many of you guys know. I think you should snack anytime that you are hungry throughout the day. So I'm just going to prepare something really quickly. I'm having some sprouted pumpkin seeds. I'm going to have a couple of walnuts and I'm going to cut up a really beautiful pear with a sharp kitchen knife. You guys are always asking me where I get my kitchen knives from, and most of them are from Japan, but I would highly, highly encourage you guys to invest in some great tools for your kitchen, including a knife. I also recently took a series of classes on Skillshare to refine some of my basic cutting skills that I can use in the kitchen, and this video is sponsored by Skillshare. I have worked with them in the past and I'm a huge fan of the platform. Um, they are an online learning community with thousands of classes for all different types of people. And I think it's a great way to pick up a new hobby or learn a new skill or just kind of get better at skills that you already have. 
The course I just finished is a great introduction on how to use a sharp knife safely, and it teaches you four essential cutting skills that you can apply regularly in everyday cooking. It is called A Mini Class to Chop Like a Chef by Elena Karp. I will link it in the description box below if any of you guys are interested. I also really like the way that classes are structured on Skillshare because you can go at your own pace, so you can go as slow or as quickly as you want, and there's just like no pressure. There are also no ads, and they are constantly adding new premium classes so you can continue learning new things as often as you'd like. So if you would like to try Skillshare, you can click on the link in my description box below. The first thousand people to sign up using my link will get a free one month trial and you can start taking classes today. This is my finished snack and I'm going to actually take this outside and put on maybe a bathing suit, try to get some vitamin D. So I don't really wanna encourage people to not wear sunscreen because I am a big proponent for wearing sunscreen and preventing skin cancer, but at the same time, if you are wearing SPF, you don't uh, absorb vitamin D. So ideally, if you can get a couple minutes, even a few times a week, like outside in the sun, where your skin is exposed um, without sunscreen, um, then you can absorb what your body needs naturally. Hey guys, so I am back for lunch. I just went on a nice little walk and I'm going to make food for myself and for Nick. He was supposed to work today, but um, he ended up uh, having a day off. So uh, we'll just eat lunch together. And I'm a little bit nervous to share this recipe with you guys because I know there's going to be a lot of criticism, but um, hopefully, you can understand that, that, I don't know, hopefully you can understand. <laughs> a couple nights ago, I roasted a big batch of beets, so I'm going to use those as kind of like a base along with some mixed greens. I have a couple of containers over here. I'm also going to use some fresh parsley. I have a carrot that I already peeled, an apple, an avocado, and some chicken which Nick was kind enough to take off the bone because that part really is still freaking me out. And then for dressing, I just threw this together in our Vitamix. It's basically like sunflower seeds, olive oil, uh, a little bit of red wine vinegar, and lemon juice, garlic, salt. I think that's it. I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description box below along with recipes for everything else. And then I think I'm going to also add a couple of sunflower seeds on top. For those of you who have been following me for a while, then you probably know that I was vegetarian for the majority of my life. Um, I've never like promoted any type of like specific diet though. And this has been like a very confusing subject online for some reason. Uh, I did start eating seafood, like mostly white fish around five years ago. And I have recently decided to make the decision to also incorporate chicken which I have not had for 27 years. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about other types of meat and I'm still feeling very conflicted about this choice, so please just be gentle with my decision at the moment. I am doing it because I feel like it's the appropriate thing to do at this time for my own body, but if it doesn't work out, then I'm not gonna force myself to eat it or anything. It's just kind of like something that I'm trying. And again, I don't wanna to have to defend all of my choices, but at the moment, I have made the conscious decision to include chicken in my diet, at least for now. Hopefully you guys can respect that. And if you guys wanna make this salad without the chicken or you wanna sub in whatever else you want, of course, you are welcome to do that. I have now cut everything up that I'm going to be adding to my salad, carrots, apple, avocado and some parsley. And now I'm just going to really assemble everything on our plates.
This is the finished salad. I always try to arrange things in a way that looks kind of nice to eat. I'm not sure uh, if I did the best job here, but um, I think it looks pretty good. And it's pretty colorful. Definitely a lot of protein, um, healthy carbs, tons of vegetables, seeds. Uh, I don't know, a lot, of, a lot of nutritious items in this salad. Um, and we will use Nick to determine if it passes the taste test. Hello. It is another snack time. Thinking that I want something sweet. All right, so I'm in the mood for something sweet and I have not been eating like a lot of sugary foods, but I'm still eating things to satisfy that, um, I guess, craving. Uh, if you guys saw on Instagram, I made these, uh, I don't know how to say it in French. It's like pate of fruit and I used fresh strawberries and they turned out really, really good. I just made them in a um, loaf pan uh, and these white spots that are visible in the shot I'm going to show you are just coconut oil that's solidified in the fridge because I greased the pan with coconut oil and I probably won't do that next time just for like aesthetics but they turned out really really well. I want to show you guys an up close of the texture. It's basically um, jello but with real fruit and a very low amount of added sugar. I did use a little bit of maple syrup, but that's it. So I'm going to have like a couple squares of this over here. And I'm also going to have one piece of this Honey Mama's Bar. If you guys have these in your area at like a health food store, you have to try them. They are so, so, so good. Um, they don't have a ton of ingredients, but if you're looking for like a healthy alternative to candy, this is a good one. So I'm going to have one little piece of that as well. If any of you guys tried this, let me know. It does have gelatin in it, and I'm kind of eating it for the gelatin, which is a good source of protein and amino acids. Uh, but of course, you could try to make this with agar or pectin or an alternative that's vegetarian or vegan. Um, but I think it turned out really, really well. You know, I might actually also have a couple of a couple of walnuts with this too. Um, like I said earlier, because I have been eating so many whole nutritious foods, they aren't as calorie dense, so I feel like I'm getting even more hungry throughout the day, and I'm just making sure to eat snacks whenever I feel that way. All right, we are back for the final meal of the day, and it's still light out, which is my new thing, although I've been talking about it for a while. I just really want to become somebody who eats dinner when it's still light outside, at least in the summer, because in winter it gets dark at like 4 p.m., and that just doesn't really seem realistic, but I would like to start eating dinner consistently around between 6 and 7 p.m. Uh, previously, I've had a bad habit of eating late, um, and I just feel better when when we eat earlier, it feels nice. So I'm going to show you what I'm making right now. I have everything kind of going already. The first thing I'm doing is, ooh, a sweet potato mash. This would be a really good thing to prep in advance and it's something that you can eat throughout the week, uh, like as an easy side dish. I'm also making asparagus for our other side or our fresh vegetable and then I'm doing wild salmon in the oven. I picked this up at a local butcher shop in Los Angeles that we like to support when we can. So uh, yeah, wild salmon from California. Uh, I think I'm just going to like roast it in the oven with a little bit of butter and I'll probably use my, my parsley that I've been using for every meal, not intentionally, um, but it's just what we have in the fridge. I kind of gave up dairy for a good week and a half but now I'm kind of realizing that it's something I not only enjoy, but it adds a really nice flavor, like butter specifically. You guys know, I love it. It's hard for me to let it go. So I don't wanna like restrict myself from something that I really enjoy. And I'm going to try like adding small quantities in. It's not necessarily a permanent thing. I'm just kind of experimenting and seeing what works out and also seeing what helps my skin, but uh, it's getting a lot clearer. At least it's a lot less inflamed than it was maybe a month ago. 
Um, I still have a lot of spots, but overall it's improving, which is, which is the goal. Do you think it's done? I did actually mess that one up trying to flip it. Looks perfect. So you can have the messed up one. Naturally. Uh, oh no! <laughs> That's <laughs> hey! Guys, <laughs> chili, chili. Mm. Do we eat the lemon? excited about this. That looks like a really good dinner. Mm -hmm. So that's our dinner. This is the final look. Um, this salmon is from the New York Times, uh, or the recipe is from the New York Times, and pretty much everything I've made uh, using their recipes has been amazing. Um, I tried the sweet potatoes, also so good, and this recipe is vegan. And then just basically some easy uh, pan roasted asparagus, which took about 10 minutes. This whole meal together took about 25 minutes. Um, again, you could like prep stuff in advance. I think that would be really helpful if you're just trying cooking for the first time or you're just getting into it. Do you have everything you need? Yeah. We are watching The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Definitely late on that train, but uh, so far it's really good. What the fuck? Why did you make up with Harry Drake? I'm in. Then what was that? On the shoulders. He's been threatening you with violence. And shoulders don't. Honestly, really fucking good. What did I tell you? It was gonna be the best thing I've ever had. Was it? Yeah, it's fucking good. For real. Yes, There's a little close up on the salmon. I followed the recipe exactly and it's cooked really like perfectly. Definitely, definitely try this recipe. And it doesn't have a ton of that, um, what's it called? Albumin. This is my final update of the night. I'm just having a quick snack before bed, eating some um, blueberries and a little scoop of almond butter. Nick is actually in here making a snack too and he's waiting for me to stop filming, so uh, I'm gonna let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it, um, I don't know, maybe you'll try some of these recipes out for yourselves. If you do, let me know below. Uh, I will see you guys all very soon in my next video and I will talk to you then.